the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Do not be afraid to face them, for I am with you, says the Lord. He sent an executioner to behead John, who was in prison. <coughs> I trusted even when I say, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord? For his goodness to me, the cup of salvation I praise, I will no longer love sin. I bow to the Lord and put him before all his people. O oh, precious in the eyes of the Lord, is the death of his faithful. Although the chapter not only took no definite steps regarding the changes to be introduced in the rules, but even agreed 
that they should not be printed before its next session. Nevertheless, I have thought it best to accede to the desire which has been expressed to me on several occasions and to suppress Article 2 of Rule 16. But in the name of God, in the interest of your eternity and those of the society to which we belong, let us not give in to sensuality. Otherwise, we would perish with the world which is becoming engulfed in luxury and good cheer because we would thereby lose the life of our souls by losing chastity, which is the most beautiful of all the virtues. How can a younger religious escape the shameful vice of impurity if he lives in the midst of plenty with abundant food and drink, fine clothing, furniture, lodging, and in a world with every comfort? <laughs> Is there not a proverb which says that he who feeds his slave delicacies will soon see him raised up in rebellion? No. Without a well-ordered and modified life, no one will long remain chaste. Remember then that temperance and modification are the companions of chastity. They are its right and its left arm, lifting it and their soul with it above the earth to the very throne of God. Without the spirit of chastity, on the contrary, you will be like the ego which rises high above the clouds in his daring flight, remains motionless for a moment with his eyes fixed on the sun, then looks down, spreads his wings and plants to earth. Is not this, alas, the story of many young men in the religious life? After tearing themselves away from the slavery of the senses, renouncing the world and giving themselves to Jesus Christ, the spouse of virgins, they look back. Whatever the cost, keep your hearts pure. May they be burning fires, giving off the good order of virtue. In this way, your mind will be more sure in its judgments, your prayers more fervent, your classes more successful and your health stronger. For chastity preserves, strengthens, and so to speak, spiritualizes the body. It is the source of charm, attractiveness, beauty, youth, and vigor even with the wrinkles of old age.
that our own prayers whom God has called to make a further step in their faith are going to be tested. We thank the Lord for the gift of the call for religious life and for having called these are confessed. This is our Emmanuel. Hermes are in this way. Their class are in the Martin Pulet. Innocent Akhneriza. Vincent Valiputen. Patrick Tugune. And Martin Kawaya. In this evening prayer, continue presenting you to the Lord, that he may sustain you with his grace, the grace, the vocation, religious life, vocation to holiness. We are gathered here as a family of Holocaust, brothers, priests, sisters, and our families and friends, and it's a great sign of support that the step you are making is a treasure for the world, but particularly for you, because God has called you to perfection and will accompany others in sanctification. It is marvelous to be here. We've heard the words of our blessed founder, words of invitation, that we have to be steady fast in purity in our commitment, there is no other way. So sometimes you make this step and get hold back and so forth. You know <coughs> that a certain asceticism is necessary 
a certain denial is necessary. My confrères, you are not going to profess to get into plenty. I know the founder has been very clear that we have to fast. We have to fast so that we know how God himself sustains you. But you are not alone. You have great many of your confrères already went to the Lord. And they say yes and continue with the yes up to the end with up to the line. And now they are in eternity with God whom they committed themselves to. A temptation to say always is that the power of poverty does not really mean this. The vow of chastity doesn't really mean this. The vow of obedience doesn't really mean this. Trying to lower the standards. No. When we say yes, please say a strong yes. Always. And so take the words of our blessed founder that we read this evening. Deep in your heart. Especially when you are first different demands of this world. We love you and we support you with our prayers. Today we wake up and God praise the Lord. We dedicate ourselves to Him. Always have a personal devotion of renew of your commitment to the Lord. We just did it as a congregation. 15th of this month, in which our blessed founder made his profession. May God bless us all in our commitment to Him. He has called us to holiness, and it's a great calling. You've reached this far, you are going far. To the mission, be with them. Begin with blessing of water. Almighty, ever-living God, who will that through water, the fountain of life, and the source of purification, even souls should be cleansed and receive the gift of eternal life. Be pleased, we pray, to place this water by which we ask your protection on this your day, O oh Lord. Renew the living spring of your grace within us and grant us and grant that by this water we may be defended from all ills. 
of spirit and body. And so approach you with hearts made clean and worthily receive and worthily receive your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God our Father, ever worthy of thanks and praise, for you have ordained that the gospel of Christ crucified is to be preached throughout the world until he himself returns in majesty to judge the living and the dead. We ask you to bless and sanctify these crucifixes and habits set apart as a sign of profession of perpetual vows in our apostolate in our apostolic religious life, may our brothers who receive this image manifest in their own lives the redemptive sufferings of Jesus so that he may also come to share in the promise. They may also come to share in the promise of his risen glory who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We now bless the meadows. Blessed are you, Father, ever worthy of our thanks and praise. All life in heaven and on earth has its origin in you. You reveal your eternal plan of salvation in Christ to Saint Joseph, the faithful and humble steward, whom you set over your household. We ask you, Father, to bless and sanctify these meadows in honor and remembrance of Saint Joseph, as a sign of professional perpetual vows in our apostolic religious life. May our brothers who receive these medals be inspired by his example and prayers to walk always in your way of holiness and so come to inherit eternal life. We ask the royal Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Magnificent, we shall use Magnificent on page 67. The article is on page 68. I am not the Christ. I have been sent before him to prepare his way. He must increase and I must be free.
sent before him to prepare his way. He must be released and not. Who called John the Baptist to proclaim the coming of the kingdom of Christ? O oh Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. You called John the Baptist from his mother's womb to prepare the way of your son. Help us to follow in that path which the Baptist opened before the Lord Jesus. O oh Lord, guide our feet into the way of peace. May your church, in imitation of the Baptist, fearest point out the Lamb of God, so that people in every age may acknowledge that the Lord comes to them. O oh Lord, I have faith in the way of peace. John the Baptist did not exalt himself, but acknowledged his role as the forerunner of the Christ. Teach us to acknowledge that you are the giver of all our good gifts, and that we must use them in your service. O oh Lord, I love you, Jesus, the Lord of peace. You called John the Baptist to give testimony to you by his life and even by his death. Help us to imitate his unceasing witness to your truth. O oh Lord, I love you, Jesus, the Lord of peace. Lord God, grant that the church may recognize the holiness of those very cross the Lydia, who are servants of God. Especially in our generation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, the admission of the seal on the service of our lives. We remember to pray for our dear for prayer in death and verses today. Remember those who have died. Give them a place of life, happiness, and peace. O oh Lord, we are not in the way of